What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be taking a look at the specifications overview between the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Google Pixel 7 Pro, both recent release flagship phones and the largest phones of their generations for their respective lineups. First up we have display. The iPhone 14 Pro Max has a 2796 by 1290 display at 120 hertz refresh rate and comes in at 6.7 inches. The Google Pixel 7 Pro has a slightly different display at 1440 by 3120 pixels, also at 6.7 inches. Overall, the Pixel 7 Pro has a little bit more pixels than the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but these are both very high resolution phones and you shouldn't have a problem with being able to see or read things on the screen at this resolution. Next up, we have the rear cameras. The, Google, the iPhone 14 Pro Max has three lenses with a 48 megapixel main lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens with a three times telephoto zoom for the optical zoom. The Google Pixel 7 Pro also has three rear lenses as well. And it actually has a 50 megapixel main rear shooter and also has a 12 megapixel ultra wide with five times telephoto. Overall, these are very similar camera setups on paper as they both share the same number of megapixels. It's interesting to note that Google is actually moving towards more optical zoom than the iPhone does. And there definitely has been an increasing trend of higher levels of telephoto lenses and optical zoom in our flagship devices. Even though the Google Pixel 7 Pro might look a little bit better on paper than the iPhone 14 Pro Max, just in terms of raw specifications, a lot of the rear camera quality, of course, comes down to software. And both of these flagship phones offer excellent photo optimization and computational photography in their software offerings. The iPhone and also the Google Pixel Max has come a long way over the last few generations in terms of software powered computational photography and color science. Next up we have the selfie cameras and these are also very similar in this department. The iPhone 14 Pro Max has a 12 megapixel f1.9 selfie camera. And the Google Pixel 7 Pro has a 10 megapixel f1.9 selfie camera. Both of the offerings on the selfie cameras for these generations of phones have been excellent in the past. And there have been a lot of features added on, like a recently introduced dark mode into the selfie camera on the iPhone series. And of course, things like Magic Eraser on the selfie camera for the Pixel 7 series. It's going to be interesting to see what else Google brings to the table for the selfie camera on the Pixel 7 Pro lineup to try to differentiate itself from competitors like the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy series of phones. Traditionally, the rear camera has been given a lot more weight, but it's interesting and it's actually very refreshing to see that these flagship phones are taking the front selfie camera a lot more seriously. And while on paper, the specifications for the selfie camera do see, seem quite similar, the software and the feature packages that actually come with these two devices are a lot different. We'll just have to see what happens with the selfie camera on the Pixel Pro to see how Google tries to differentiate itself this year. Next up, we have the battery. The iPhone 14 Pro Max comes in at a 4,323 milliamp hour battery, and Apple claims this will offer over 13 hours of battery life. The Google Pixel 7 Pro has a whopping 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It wasn't until a few years ago where a 5,000 milliamp hour battery was considered a huge battery reserved only for oversized tablets and high-end gaming phones. But now it does appear to be approaching the norm for these larger flagship devices. 
Of course, battery life, like many of the other features on this list, is also software dependent, and iPhone and Apple really do seem to have an edge over its competitors here in terms of hardware and software op optimization. The fact that Apple has been doing its processors in-house on their iPhones for the last couple generations has really helped Apple optimize the battery performance on its flagship devices. And hopefully with Google's new Tensor chip announced for this line of Pixel 7 phones, Google can kind of follow suit. And we'll just have to see how well the battery life on the Pixel 7 performs relative to the recently released iPhone 14. Both the Pixel series and the iPhone series have been pretty strong and stable in the battery life department compared to some of its other competitors, but we'll have to see with this larger screen and this larger battery how the Google Pixel 7 Pro stacks up in real life performance. All this to say that on paper the Pixel 7 Pro does seem to have the edge on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But Google hasn't formally announced what the battery life or the expected battery life is on a single charge for the Pixel 7 Pro. We do know that Google is taking battery life very seriously, and they have announced what's called extreme low power mode for the Pixel 7 series of phones, where Google assures us that the Pixel 7 will be able to operate for more than 72 hours just on a single charge on extreme low power mode. The fact that Google Pixel 7 doesn't use the lightning conductor also will help with this. So there you have it everyone, just a overview of the major categories of specs available for the iPhone 14 Pro Max and also the Google Pixel 7 Pro. On paper, in terms of the camera, selfie camera, battery life and display, both of these phones offer very similar specifications, but the actual experience when using these two phones can differ widely because of software. With Apple's iPhone running iOS and the Google Pixel 7 running a very stripped down version of Android, your experience will differ in terms of what you get from the rear and selfie cameras and also how you might use the display and also your battery life as well. The specifications on these two flagship phones for this year does seem to show a trend in a few categories. One, we're gradually getting more and more optical zoom with more telephoto zoom capabilities on the rear shooters and two the batteries on um, each of these respective phones are getting bigger than ever so it does seem that the screen size increase and the battery and camera cluster increases on our flagship phones won't be slowing down anytime in the near future if the pixel 7 and the iphone 14 are any indications of that so what do you think are the specifications on these phones close enough where they'll offer similar experiences or is the software difference between these two devices just too wide to be able to compare them? Leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.